hi welcome back to guardian angel resin creations so today i have another new mold um they're just timu molds so they only cost um probably five or six dollars i will link it below it's got um butterflies on it so they're a raised butterfly so today i'm going to put a little bit of mica powder on each of them i've got three different colors um Look, I can't pronounce the name, but I buy them from Amazon. It's Chang Tikejai or something. Um, this one is Lilac Purple and it's number 131. It's a kit of 141 different mica powders. Um, this one is Primrose Purple and it's 132. And this one is Soft Magic Violet, which is number 90. You can buy smaller packs, but it was really quite economical. It was $115 for 141. So, and I'm also using my brand new, one of my favorite new resins. It's resin casting powder from Honey Rose. And you get this on Timu. And it's gone up to $19 something for a kilo. And it's about $10 for 500 grams, but 500 grams doesn't go very far, I found out the other day. So, and this mold is the same as the one that I did the other day with the rose on it. And that takes 200 grams. And it's really easy. It's a four to one powder. So 200 grams of the powder takes um, 50 grams of water, simple. And then when I'm done, I have got a solid solutions polyuth polyurethane matte varnish so this will make it super hard and um, waterproof and I'm loving 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 the texture of this it is like porcelain it's amazing how beautiful these turn out they're white and they're gorgeous so I'm going to start with my powder I'm going to go I think the light and then that one and the dark one. So we'll get started. So I'm just doing the raised area. I'm not worrying about trying to get it in little holes and anything like that. So this has a little bit of a shimmer on it. So just tap it off. I don't want to try, I don't want to get it all over my mold. So I'm gonna put that across there. Just to try not to get it on the mold. Then I'm just going to brush it on. And then I will just wipe over my mold when I'm done. Put something on my brush. Probably something that I'd wiped it with before. So I'm just going to gently just sort of brush it across the butterflies. And I, um, I actually worked out a very easy way to get leftover colour off the mould um, this morning. Um, all I did was, um, and I'll show you on this, I keep saying um, I sprayed a little bit of alcohol on there and then I got one of my brushes and I just gently just went around with the brush and then dabbed it with a, um, a baby wipe. So now I'm going to have to clean the powder off that one. And it comes off very easy. It saves you from washing them and putting little marks on them. And it took me about probably two or three minutes just to get that off. I do have my glasses cloth here that I dab over my wet molds with. There we go. I'm just going to just brush that so you can see the butterfly. I don't need to get all the, the um, like the raised bit because I just want the inside butterfly to show up. It's going to go around there like that. Please fast forward in any part that you get bored in. I just wanted to do just the one butterfly to show you what I'm going to do in the other ones and then I will 
pause you and I will come back when I am ready to make up the the resin because it is just it's such a simple simple resin to use anybody can do this like I am absolutely no expert this is the third time that I've act that I've used this so I'm learning so I'm hoping that you're enjoying my my little journey here and hopefully you're learning from my mistakes so I'm going to put you on pause and then I'll come back when I'm ready to make it. Right, I have measured this up. I have done 200 grams and I've done 50 grams of water. I've got something covering my little tray here because I am outside. So you please excuse all of the noises because we've got birds. I've got a shed door banging because it's windy and ambulance continuously this morning. So I don't know what's going on in my area. So we are going to just tip this water in here. And then we shall give it a stir. I'm going to just actually spray my um, my stick with a bit of isopropyl because the other day I was mixing purple and, and didn't quite get it off so my, my white was slightly tainted and slightly off colour. So that looks pretty clean. So give it a mix. For a winter's day in Adelaide, we have got 24 degrees outside, so it's absolutely a glorious day. So I thought I would take the opportunity to do a couple of things today and see how I go before it starts to get cold and raining again at the end of the week. So just mix this up. Make sure there's no bubbles in it. Go. All right, I won't subject you to watching me mix this for three minutes. Okay, I have mixed this for like a few minutes. There's no lumps in it. Looks really, really good. And we're going to move this across. We take a little cover off. So I finished doing my butterflies and they look really good. I hopefully have got all of the mica powder off i will just give it one more little wipe around i can just see a little bit shining just on the edge there so hopefully i've got most of it off now because i don't i really don't want to have to sand this because I know it's like you see a lot of people sanding them but I don't know whether this specific stuff can be sanded and not have big scratches on it and I don't have the really fine sandpaper so so I wanted to make sure that this is really really clean and we are going to just pour this in now hopefully it is exactly the same measurements as my last one and just going to just pour it in on the stick get it around it and go get it all into those little butterflies just keep pouring it over the top bring it down here um, and that looks pretty good it's not doming but um i don't actually mind that it's not doming this doesn't seem to do what resin does you don't seem to get that little sharp bit on there and if i do i can just get it off anyway all right there we go just scrape it out and I know I shouldn't be using the disposable cups for this because it is it's paper. I'm going to have to go, I think I'm going to go and get a glass one, a glass that I can actually rinse out and use every single time. So, all right, that seems to be looking pretty good. Let's give it a bit of a, bit of a bang on the sides just to make sure there's no bubbles. I didn't get bubbles with my last one. 
so this seems to like it's even though I've been mixing quite quite rough this doesn't seem to have any bubbles in it so and I'm not sure whether you torch it I know that I really don't want to spray it because it's just going to get this horrible film on it so I think I'm going to just move this aside and leave this for a couple of hours I will cover it so no dust gets on it and um, I'll come back when it's the demold time Alrighty, I have had this um, sitting for a couple of hours. I have had um, my other trinket tray sitting over the top of it just to keep it from getting anything on it because my um, my little lid, like a, I have a little cover and it didn't quite fit on there and I didn't want to ruin it. So it's, it's on there. It's exactly the same size because this is number one in the set and this is number two. So I'm just going to just gently pull it away from the sides okay so when you are unmolding this do not go like that with your hands you will leave marks on this until this is totally totally cured it does say it cures up after two hours but I made the fatal mistake of wiping my hand across the front of it and then I got marks so try not to do it so I'm just going to just gently pop this out. It comes out super easy out of these molds as well. They aren't a bad quality mold, so they're quite thick. So there we go. I'll just run my hand under there and just pop it off. I'm not touching the thing. And there we go. So there's my butterflies. So I'm just going to just gently just turn it round. Hopefully you can see it. And there we go. The little butterflies in there. They're just so pretty. Now, if you want to, you can actually put a little bit of silicon in there. But I didn't with my last time and I think it's really lovely. So it's up to you whether you fill that in because you don't have to colour them. You can fill them in with coloured resin later on. You just won't get all these pretty bits in it. So, it uh, looks like I may have had a few air bubbles in there. I don't mind. I truly don't mind. So, unless somebody's going to hold it up to their face and go, Oh, you've got bubbles. You don't even notice. Because look at that. Look at the shine on that. That is so pretty. That I might actually, instead of using my matte... I have got a, um, a gloss varnish. I might give this one a try with a bit of gloss varnish. And see, see I've, I've touched that, I think. Or maybe I had mica powder in the bottom. So, there we go. I'm going to not touch it anymore. I'm going to just sit it there. Because it's leaving marks on my hand. And then I will... I think I'll do the shining. And I will take some pickies. And I'll come back. And I would like to say thank you very much for watching. Um, hit the like button. Let me know. Let me know what you think of my videos. Um, if I'm doing anything wrong. If you've got any ideas on what you want me to make. And if I've got the mould and I've got the resin, then I will I'll give it a go for you. So thank you so much to all my lovely subs subscribers. I really do appreciate you subscribing to my channel. And I will catch you next time and be safe.